All right, so this video is for my pay-to-play players out there. You know, the people who are willing to spend a little bit of money or maybe a lot of money on this game for their Dragonstones. And with only five days left before the anniversary officially begins, I've been getting a lot of questions about what kind of Dragonstone sales we can expect to see once the celebration begins. Now, the honest answer to that question is, I don't really know because it's impossible to predict what Bandai's gonna do, but what I can do for you is give you guys a general idea of what to expect based on the stone sales we got on Global last year for the 4 year anniversary, as well as the stone sales that JP got this year for their 5 year anniversary. Alright, so without further ado, why don't we jump right into it. You know what, actually before we jump in, I want you guys to keep your expectations a little bit under control because while these sales are good, right, at least way better than your average stone sales, uh, they might not be as good as you would expect for a celebration of this magnitude, of something, you know, this hype. And I do feel like Bandai has dropped the ball a little bit in the past, and um, yeah, I just want to put that out there. Okay, so with that said, let's move on to the four-year anniversary sales from last year on Global, and as you can see, it was okay, it was good. Once again, it was good, it was just, I feel like they could have done better, you know? So, uh, of course, these prices are in USD, so US dollars, if you guys live in Canada, or in Asia, or anywhere else in the world, then it might be different, you know? So, uh, do keep that in mind as well, these are in US prices, and, um, you know, we got the 12 stone pack, we got the 6 stone pack, 32 stone pack, this is the 100 stone pack with the bonus purple dragon stone and also your standard 91 stone pack. So these two, the 12 stone and 32 stone are actually very good. Actually the 6 stone too. These are very good value for your money as far as like, I mean, by Dokkan standards, they're good value as far as how much money you're spending for your stones, but you can only buy this one time. This was available one time. This was available one time as well. And this one was only available three times. So even though they're good value, you're not really getting that many stones overall because you couldn't buy them that many times, right? And I, I just, I feel like they could have done like, you know, maybe this one six or seven times, this one at least five times, so we can get a multi out of it. And this one, I mean, it's only six stones, but maybe like once a day, that would have been nice. The 100 stone pack with the purple dragon stone is nice. Obviously the free unit you're getting from the purple dragon stone is good value if you need it, but there are a lot of people who already have all the purple stone units. And you know what, actually the purple stone sale, or the purple stone store, is gonna be different this year. So we'll get to that in a second. But last year, right, with the purple stone, it was only the 120 leads. And you know, a lot of people already had all the 120 leads. A lot of people already had them all rainbowed. So this purple stone was pretty much useless for many people. So essentially it was 100 stones for $45 which is the same price as the 91 stone pack at full price. So essentially you're just getting 10 more stones and like, you know, a Kai or something like that with the purple stone, right? So yeah, that was like whatever. And then 91 stone pack, I mean, it's not that great value even with the sale, but they could have given us like 10, 11, 12, something like that. So, you know, like I said, it's much better than your average stone sale you're gonna see for like a regular Dokkan Fest, but this is the anniversary we're talking about, you know? This is supposed to be like the biggest celebration for any gacha game every single year, and these sales just didn't really cut it. Now with all that said, I would like to say that Bandai's gonna learn from their mistake and give us much better sales this year, but I don't really have any evidence to suggest that. And you know, moving on to JP's sales for this year during their five year anniversary. By the way, this is for part one, all right? There will be more sales for part two, and we'll talk about that once part two gets closer. But these were their part one stone sales. I think actually the poster, like the person that posted this image already purchased these ones. So I think these were on sale as well, maybe like one time only or something like that. But uh, yeah, these were their sales overall. At least these were the important ones at the bottom here, right? And it was pretty similar, man, to uh, Global's four-year sales. I mean, we got the 30 stone pack for $8.99 three times, which is comparable to the 32 stone pack for $7.99 three times. And uh, keep in mind that usually the JP store 
is a little bit higher priced like this packs are a little bit more expensive than the global store so that explains the difference in the prices but this is basically comparable to this pack right here so three times so let's say that's the same and then we have the purple stone pack this one can be purchased three times and uh, the price is 4602 but it's pretty much the same thing as the global price here of $45. The main difference, of course, is that there's one more pack this time. So three total purple dragon stones available to purchase. And uh, there's also these 90 stone packs. So it's 60 plus 30 for $35.94 nine times, which is pretty comparable to the 91 stone pack, which was $32.99 on the global store. And it was available seven times. So at least they got two more of these packs, but Overall, there's not that much of a difference between JP's five-year sales, you know, compared to Global's four-year sales. So just looking at this, man, I'm not super hopeful for like amazing sales. I'm expecting some very good sales. I'm expecting much better than average sales, but you know, nothing too crazy. It's probably gonna be something like this, maybe a little bit better. You know, Global might get some better sales, than JP, but I wouldn't expect that much better, you know? Now, I do know there's some people out there that don't really care about the prices of the packs. They really just care about, you know, how many stones on sale they can buy because they just don't want to pay full price for their stones, right? So I did the quick maths, and essentially, if you add up all these sales, you're looking at about 1,200 stones, all right, 1,200 stones for about 450 to 490 us dollars now like i said these i think were also on sale but i think the person that posted this picture already bought them so yeah around 1200 roughly and for about 450 to 490 dollars for some people that might be way over budget but for others who are you know a little bit more whale like let's say um that's definitely manageable so you know still a good amount of stones you can buy on sale but uh, the sales could have been better, in my opinion. And I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that I'm wrong and they just give us much better sales than JP got because it's always possible, but I'm not really holding my breath for it. I'm not really gonna expect it. If it happens, it's awesome. But if it doesn't happen, I won't be disappointed, you know? So that does it for the stone sales. But before we go, let's take a quick look at the new and improved purple stone shop we'll be getting for the five year anniversary. And as you can see, man, this time around, we can actually purchase some LRs with these purple stones. Now, the most we can get is three if you purchase all three of these packs right here. And for three purple stones, we can get one copy of one of the OG5 LRs, the Majin Vegeta, Goku Black, uh, Int Gohan, uh, STR Broly, as well as Fizz Trunks. And obviously, if you're you know a veteran player, you've been playing for a while, you most likely already have these guys, but for newer players, I mean, they can still be quite good. Especially, in my opinion, Goku Black is still very, very good. Um, you know, STR Broly is still a monster in World Tournament, but, you know, doesn't have as many uses as he used to. And uh, Majin Vegeta can still hit really hard, so can LR Gohan. But these guys have, like, literally no defense, so they're not super useful in, like, Super Battle Road or... LGE or anything like that and Fizz Trunks I think is criminally underrated all right I have a boy who uh, Calls him the worst LR in the game, which I just think is not true, but that's just me So, you know, he's not a bad pickup either. But yeah, if you guys are missing these LRs You can't get them if you purchase all three of the purple stone packs and then on top of that You can get Jiren or STR Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta uh, full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, SSB Vegeta, AGL Turles, Fizz Super Vegito, Omega Shenron, UI Goku, or Angel Golden Frieza for two purple stones a pop. And finally, of course, the 120 leads are still here, along with Fizz Vegito Blue and AGL Rose for one purple stone each. And honestly, if you guys are missing Vegito Blue, well, first of all, I would summon on the Vegito banner first to see if you pull him, but if you don't pull him, all right, with your stones, then he's not a bad pickup because in my opinion, he's actually, he might be the best unit available, honestly, in the purple stone shop right now with his EZA, like he's that good. So 
Um, not a bad pickup right there. AJ Rose is great too with his EZA. And also these guys, all the 120 leads are getting EZA soon, right? Broly's gonna get his soon on JP. Then eventually all of them will have EZAs by like, you know, sometime next year. So yeah, not bad choices either, but totally up to you. I just like the fact that we have more options now. I'm most likely not going to get the purple stones. I mean, honestly, I might buy the packs just for the stones, but not the purple stones. And uh, I think I'll probably just pick up a dupe for my Goku Black. Because he, I think out of all these guys, has the least dupes, I believe. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, the choice is up to you. If you guys are planning to purchase all the sales anyways for the stones, then, you know, these purple stones with these units, it's a nice bonus, right? So uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this helped somewhat answer your question for what kind of stone sales we can expect to see on global for the five year anniversary. Like I said, it's hard to say exactly what Bandai's planning and it could be drastically different from what we got last year or what JP got, but I wouldn't hold my breath for it. I do hope I'm wrong though. And I do hope they'll surprise us. But when it comes to Dokkan, when it comes to these games in general, I think the best policy is to have low expectations. And you know, if your expectations are exceeded, then it's a pleasant surprise, but if it's you know, as bad as you thought it would be, then at least you're not too disappointed, right? So that's what I would go with, but it's up to you. And that is today's video, guys. Thank you very much once again for watching and hope you guys are excited for the five year anniversary, which once again is only five days away from the time this video is posted. As always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.